I'm Safe Dad with Car Seat Blog's look at the Ford F-150 Super Crew. This is the limited version, which basically has absolutely everything. In terms of safety, which is our emphasis, it has everything standard, including automatic emergency braking, and that feature is actually standard on every trim level. However, to get the IIHS superior rated system, you have to step up to higher trim levels and get the package with the adaptive cruise control with stop and go feature to get the superior rated forward emergency braking system. The other systems on other trims that are standard all the way down to the XL is not yet rated by the IHS. But in crash tests for the IHS, the results were excellent. The good rating applied to every single crash test the IIHS performed. And if you do get that adaptive cruise control system, you'll get the superior rated system that would be necessary to get a top safety pick. However, unfortunately, due to headlights that didn't meet IHS standards, the top safety pick was not awarded to the F-150 for 2019. Other good news in government crash testing from the NHTSA at safercar.gov, five stars all around in all of the individual crash tests, which is also great. It did get a four star rollover rating, which is very typical for SUVs and pickup trucks. So good results all around in actual crash tests, uh, very standout performance for uh, a pickup truck as well. We're gonna take a look at the back seat and discuss some child passenger safety seating issues. As far as three across car seats, which is something of interest to many parents, the F-150 Super Crew is a dream. It's big enough to where you get plenty of leg room uh, to fit a rear facing car seat without affecting the leg room for the front passengers. It's also wide enough all the way across to fit just about any possible combination of three across or adjacent car seats. The middle seat is very wide. It's gonna fit just about everything with a car seat beside it or another passenger. There's almost no conflict with the seat belts or the latch anchors which are available on the outboard seats, which I will show you. Uh, they are readily accessible and easily visible in the two outboard seats. And that's a good thing because you will use those in general for not only rear facing car seats, but in some other instances uh, because of the inflatable seat belts. And that is something you will need to pay attention to in the owner's manual when you read it because there are conflicts. So check your car seat owner's manual and the vehicle owner's manual for information on these inflatable seat belts. They're great for passengers. However, for some car seats, they are incompatible, and sometimes they can cause issues with car seat installation even when they are compatible, including uh, children in boosters where these thicker seat belts may be an issue in the shoulder belt guides of high back boosters. So if these are a problem or incompatible because the manual of your car seat says so, you can always install in the middle seat that has a standard seat belt that you can see here. We have a Kiko MyFit installed with the seat belt and it installed easily uh, using the standard seat belt in the middle seat. Your other option if these uh, inflatable seat belts are an issue in the outboard seats are to use these lower latch anchors. There are limits to those, uh, but that varies by car seat. So you'll have to check your car seat labeling or owner's manual to determine the lower limits. Another issue with car seats not really a negative, but common for most pickups are, is uh, the latch uh, system top tether anchor routing. So the top tether portion of the latch system uh, has to be routed through a fabric loop. So for this Kiko MyFit, we've routed it through the loop behind the MyFit, and then we've attached the hook to the loop for the outboard seat. So you definitely want to check your owner's manual for the correct routing. Uh, it would be similar if you're in this outboard seat, you would route it through this loop and attach it to the center seat. You can actually then do that for both outboard seats, attaching them simultaneously to the loop for the center seat. So just something to pay attention to as far as top tether routing. Uh, these head restraints are adjustable and are they removable? They are removable. They are removable. So I just didn't get the button in right, but uh, sometimes forward mounted head restraints uh, will have an effect on taller forward facing car seats. You can see for this Kiko MyFit, there is no conflict with that smaller head restraint mounted in the center seat. But in some car seats, that can be an issue. These are fairly um, you know, farther back, so they shouldn't be a conflict with most, but can be removed 
if you do find a forward-facing car seat where that is a conflict. Uh, overall, for uh, car seats, the F-150 is going to be great. The only consideration are these inflatable seat belts when equipped. Uh, so something to, again, look in your ma owner's manuals for information on those with car seats. But as far as three across, you're going to be able to pretty much fit just about everything. And again, in this limited trip, trim, everything is standard in terms of safety features. For other trims, you are going to want to take a look at the optional packages if you do want to get that adaptive cruise control system with stop and go. It is standard on higher trims. It is available on certain other trims. So something to look for, not only for getting the superior rated system from the IHS for automatic emergency braking, but also pedestrian detection and the adaptive cruise control, which will keep you at a safe distance from other vehicles on the road. It's the 2019 Ford F-150 Super Crew. Check out our full review at carseatblog.com.